Welcome to Strider Tree Gear. Today I got a little tips and tricks video for you. I'm gonna show you one of my neat little tricks we do with ropes for on the ground rigging, pulling trees over, small stuff especially. Uh, it's called the monkey fist and the bow and arrow technique. So stay tuned, here we go. Okay, say we're working in a backyard. We've got this little tree, it's not that big, but there's a, a shed, well just imaginary shed right here where the tree is leaning. So we need to set up a rope, you know, 100 degrees or 180 degrees from the lean so that we can steer it to the right or the left. Um, but okay, so if I go walk all the way back to the truck, I can get my throw line out, I can lob it up and over, I can pull a rope in, a uh, rope through and, and tie that off. Or you can use this little trick called the monkey fist. So I'm gonna just go straight to my rigging rope here. We're gonna to pretend it's a rigging rope, obviously it's a climbing rope. And you start making little coils. So I'm gonna judge roughly how much height I've got up there. And I'm gonna have about that much height in coils. I'm gonna do one wrap around the body, cross over myself here. So it ends up being a wrap and a half. And then I'm gonna push a bite through. So I take this and I just push a little bite through the whole thing. And now I've got a handle. Now, if I go ahead and throw this, what's gonna happen is the whole, the whole bundle here is gonna release as soon as it goes through. Now, if I don't want it to release, if I'm afraid I'm gonna miss on the first shot, then what you can do is you can actually fold this over the top, pull on your slack here and cinch it off. Now that's not gonna release, that'll just be a weight. So if I throw it up and over, I'll be able to flick the weight. So I'll do a little demonstration like that. Okay, so it just landed up there. Oh. So I missed the first one. Well, I'm glad I bundled it up right like that. So now we get to throw again. All right, now it's up there. Because of that extra weight, it ought to be able to come all the way back down. And sure enough, it's gonna work its way back down. A little bit slow. So part of, the, part of the trick to getting these things to come back down, you're not just wiggling the rope, I'm actually throwing a bite up. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a bite and flick it up, and then it drops down the same distance. Boom. There we go. Pass that around the tree. And now I can tie a running bowline, cinch it off. That took a little bit of time. I wanna show you a little bit of an easier way to do it. We're gonna pull it all the way out and make another monkey fist. This time it's gonna be the, the self-releasing kind. All right, so I'm gonna make a few coils. This is the, uh, the self-releasing monkey fist here. Same thing, gonna go about the height that I need, make my wrap, push a little bite through. But instead of locking it off, I'm just gonna use that as a handle. Get a few, a little more slack here. And we're gonna throw it. Boom, just like that, all the way to me. It released as soon as it hit. Now I can, now I can actually Tie my bowline on a bite or whatever. Yes, I'm doing it a little bit funky. It's so that I can pull this thing out of the tree later because I don't actually intend to cut this tree down, but bowline on a bite, cinch it up. And now we can pull the tree over. So once we've got this, I want to show you another trick for applying some torque. Yes, I could go back to the truck. I could get my rope jack. We could put it on a machine and pull on it. Uh, but I've got another cool little trick I wanna show you guys. Okay, so we've got our rope choked off up there. I'm gonna take our slack and we're gonna go back over here against the lean to tie it off on another tree. So, all right, got this long rope. We got, it. We got our anchor point. So one of the things I'm gonna do Go this way. Kind of pass it around the tree. Usually, what I would do is I'd pull on it as hard as I could and then wrap it, but this will work. Pass it around the tree. We're going to get as much tension on this as we can. As I hold here, there's friction to keep to capture this tension. But as I'm going to push here and I'm going to pull with this side. Now I'm going to get as much tension as I can manage. Then we're gonna go around the tree. 
and lock it off. All the way around, take a bite. We're gonna tie a little bit of a tie hitch here. Probably a nice clove hitch with some tension. Notice, at no point did that release. So if you look over there, I'm moving this whole tree right now. Pretty easy, a lot of tension. I did that all by myself. Now, when it comes time to actually fall this tree, I can add a, a significant amount of tension and even some directional pulling by coming right out to the middle of this rope and pulling on it. If you look over there, I'm standing this whole tree up by myself. For just a little bit of distance, I can put more tension on that rope than four guys pulling. It's that much of a difference. This is called the bow and arrow because the mechanical advantage is the same that you would get while using a bow and arrow. If you pull right in the middle, you gain a lot of mechanical advantage to flex those limbs. Essentially, that's what I'm doing here. Now the follower would just go, he'd make his directional cut and fall it whichever direction, and I could pull it and lift it up away from whatever it was leaning towards. And that's the bow and arrow technique. It works great. It's very effective, it's quick. You don't need any other equipment, just your rope. You can use a monkey fist, lob it up and over, tie it off, walk down, wrap around a tree, and pull. Thanks for joining me this week on Strider Tree Gear. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what sort of things you're interested in and what you want to see on this channel. And uh, don't forget to hit the little bell so you'll be notified when the next video comes out. Appreciate all your guys' support and, and look to see you next time.